It's a long convoy and we are now at the heart of Freetown, the cotton tree, less than a minute to State House. And we finally passed the checkpoint going into the State House. And we are right here. Just entered the state house premises. Just entered state house premises. This afternoon, the chairman of the ECOWAS Authority of Heads of State and Government and President of the Republic of Guinea Bissau, His Excellency General Umar Sisoko Mbalo, is paying a solidarity visit to his brother and colleague and the people of Sierra Leone. Therefore, we are here for the visiting head.
Mukta Isoko Embalo, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I take this opportunity to welcome you to Sierra Leone. This is your first time in Freetown. You've been to Sierra Leone before, but uh, Longe is not Sierra Leone. So I'm very happy to welcome you on behalf of the people of this country to extend fraternal greetings to you and to convey that to the people of the Republic of Guinea-Bissau. Last week, we had a very difficult situation on our hands that bordered on security. A violent um, attack on peace, a very violent attack on democracy, an attack on ordinary citizens that led to the death of several policemen and women, and also civilians. But it also disrupted the general flow of ordinary citizens in the performance of their daily chores. We called immediately last week, and we had a long and extensive discussion. You wanted to know what was happening, and I explained to you Today, you have followed this up with a visit to get first-hand information. So, I welcome you to Sierra Leone, and I give you the floor to make your statement. You're welcome. Thank you very much, Mr. President, my dear brother. As a chairman of the Coast Authority, the head of state and the government, I am delegate to visit your beautiful country, Sierra Leone. My dear brother, let me also thank you for generous hospitality accorded to my, to my delegation and I serve my arrival in Sierra Leone. As a chairman of a course, I have followed with keen interest the event that took place in Sierra Leone on August 10. 2022 that led today the death of innocent citizens, including law enforcement officers, and the destruction of properties such as public building and the buses. On behalf of the Coas Authority, the government and the people of the Republic of Guinea-Bissau, let me express my heartfelt condolences to all those who have lost loved ones. As chairman of the Coast Authority, let me start by condemning this act of gruesome violence where law enforcement officers have been brutally killed in cold blood. Violence has no place in a democracy dispensation particularly in a country like uh, Sierra Leone that has made immense progress in building a stability democratic policy over the years and it was recently ranked 14 most peaceful country in the sub-Saharan Africa. I have just had a closed door meeting with the President Bio who comprehensively briefed me on the event of August 10, 2022, and the measures taken by his government to stabilize the situation and the return of the country, and in particular, the capital city of freedom to normality. As President of the Republic of Guinea-Bissau, I must say that Sierra Leone has made great progress in the area of inclusive development, democracy, consideration, respect for the rule of law, and the good governance. The international community, including OCOAS, will continue to work with Sierra Leone to build on consolidate and the progress 
is positive, democratic, and developing trajectory. As the chairman of the COAS Authority, I am equally pleased that the president has launched an investigation into the event of the 10th August, which is in line with the COAS position. I want to encourage the president to continue to engage with the various state orders in the coming days, including getting the Peace Commission to undertake a strategic engagement with youth and opposition parties in the various parts of the country. The President also informed me that he will be meeting with the traditional chiefs, religion, leaders, civil society, and the political party leaders. He also told me the government has briefed the international community and he has personally met and engaged with ambassadors. I want to assure the president that the COAS will continue to stand by Sierra Leone at all time. Thank you all. And uh, I need also to say, I'm apologize for my English. We are from Oluto for the country. You know, in Guinea, so we spoke in Portuguese. But when you are in Sierra Leone, we try to spoke in English. <laughs> and uh, to say, you know, we are bringing our experience we lose, we lose 20 years in Guinea-Bissau. Last week, I received the, uh, the president of the ECOWAS parliament to advise me. He said, my brother, I want to speak to you like Brothers, I'm saying, I say, you know, please call two guys here from the, uh, the opposition, talk to them, to listen to them. I say, okay, but why are you saying that? I say, no, you are my brother. And then, three days after I call them, they bring me good advice. This was foolish. And why I'm saying that the history by the past, Senator was not suffering. And then today, Senator is already in the way to start its development. And before I come here, I spoke with the President Michael Oma. I tell him, you know, it's important to be hand by hand with the President Zilubada for your country. He's engaged with me, say, you know, I am in Kenya. Once I back, immediately I'm gonna meet him to talk about the country because sometimes we don't have the enemy. To have different idea, we know enemy. And we are encouraging the president to follow this policy. And then your door is supposed to be open for all this area. When we are in the opposition, we're supposed to understand. If we are put fire in the something, this fire is going to be there until we come in the power. Yeah? I was in the opposition when I left the army. Army. I was in the opposition. But uh, we have one of the vice president of the course parliament, Aya Sato Kamara. Sometimes when we need to push the people outside, they say, you know, I don't want to follow you guys. I'm saying, but why? What? Why are we in opposition? They say, no. One day we're going to win. If we win, they're going to do the same. And then we don't supposed to do that. This is why I'm saying the youth people, they have the link of the youth. If something missing, or something not good, they can request it to the president. They talk to them. And the president, not all. Not, you, you young, but he's not old also. <laughs> yeah. He's in the middle. He can talk to them. He's not supposed to go. I was very shocked when I see to kill the police. This kind of thing, I don't think is going to happen in my country. Because the police is for us, it's the civilian, to protect. If you have killed somebody who protecting you, 
One day, if somebody hits you, who are coming to protect you? Nobody. You're going to say, they're going to kill us. We don't go. And then it's going to be the disorder. I'm saying, this is advice of, from my heart, because we are the brothers and the sisters. This is not good example. The people who kill the police, they're not good citizens. No. The good citizens don't kill police. Yeah, because police is for protecting us. It's why I'm asking here all the ambassadors to continue to support the brother sister country, Senegal. And we believe the president, and then we're going to start to talk more to the opposition. Because it's not necessary to be the opponent, you know, to put fire or to bring innocent people in the streets. And we don't gonna take longer. I just come here to see my brother and uh, to encourage the people of Sierra Leone to say them we know what is the peace. We have the civil war in Guinea Bissau. They have the civil war in the past year. And then Guinea Bissau sometimes when we put something like that, the people say, What's happening? Yeah. Because think of the gun. Today. If I put something like that, yeah. what's happening again? They have this kind of their mind. It's why we are scared sometimes when we see the people killing each other. And then to kill police. This is the first time we see that after twenty years in my course. It's not good to kill the police. The police is for us. Thank you, Mr. President, and the Vice President, the ministers, and the international community here, the ambassadors. We are here to support each other. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, for those words of experience and comfort. That is how we come to the end of this event. And as I stated earlier, it will immediately be followed by a presidential launch in honor of His Excellency General Umaru Sisoko Mbalo at the banquet hall. On that note, may I graciously request for the audience to rise for the departure of the two heads of state. that the protocol officers will then take the diplomats and other ministers to the banquet hall for lunch. Protocol officers, please leave the visiting delegation 